Hey folks, I want to take a minute today while we're eating lunch, uh, taking a break from the tower to discuss a few things that we've seen over the last few weeks uh, as far as the sight casting or the, the red fishing is, has gone for us. Uh, you know, in some of these little changes, some days it's made it uh, easier to catch fish, other days it's made it a little tougher. But one of the one of the things we're seeing, one of the changes that we're seeing is these fish, these redfish are starting or have been, I guess, really for about a week now, uh, have been staying up on the flats longer, you know, instead of dropping into the creeks. And that does make it a little easier to chase them. Uh, you know, you don't necessarily have to have the perfect water clarity like you do when you get down in those creeks. But uh, one, of the, one of the big things is not only are they staying up longer, which helps us, uh, you know, makes them, number one, it makes them easier to spot. But typically when a fish stays up on the flat longer uh, throughout the course of the day, they're, they're more, uh, more inclined to eat, you know, if you throw the right bait in front of them or, or the, right, uh, the right size bait in front of them. You know, and so we we discuss these changes or these little pattern changes. I call them micro uh, adjustments. A lot of times when we're uh, trout fishing, red fishing, you know, from from a waiting standpoint. Uh, but these same adjustments, these same little micro adjustments, take place. You know, when specifically targeting redfish, especially the way we do uh, off the tower. And one of the things that we've seen this week, uh, the last few days really, is the bait change, uh, the size of bait ha has changed. You know, we've gone from four inch and even a few five inch baits down to the little bugs lures or even the uh, burner shed. And these smaller baits have really gotten more strikes. The bigger baits, you can kind of see that, uh, you know, that they'll hit it, but they're just kind of grabbing the tail. They're like punching it, you know, they're not, they're not inhaling it. They're not gulping it in. So a, a key difference, you know, if you're having a tough day, especially if you're in, in front of fish or seeing these fish, you know, instead of leaving and looking for fish in another area, change your bait or change your tactic. See if that doesn't work before you head off to a new location. You know, now today has been fairly tough. Uh, we caught a couple early, but then we've had a bunch of refusals today, even downsizing our bait. And I think part of that has to do with this uh, this front that blew in. You know, even though it's a it's a weak front, it obviously is no cooler than what it was yesterday, but it is a pressure change, and that pressure may have gotten up there. Uh, you know, high enough to to kind of shut some of these fish down. But nonetheless, we're still out here. We're 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 grinding away at it. Hopefully, the second half of the day is it goes a little better than the first half. But uh, uh, we shall see. So, just wanted to share that information with you. Those those little tips or tricks and kind of our change in tactic that we see. You know, weekly or daily sometimes, but. And it just again, I thought it would help. All right, y'all be safe this weekend. Looks like we've got a little weather coming in later in the weekend. Uh, so y'all just watch out, watch the forecast, and uh, be safe out there. And remember, remember, try to release them when you can. Thanks.